My husband brought some of these home from the market and I'm not sure what to do with them. I know they're artichokes, but I don't know much else. Here's our happy little artichoke today. Oh my gosh, I got all these artichokes donated from the food pantry and I don't know what in the world to do with them. So join us and we will give you some information about the jewels of health, artichokes. Delivering information, education, and solutions. We grow ideas into better communities, stronger local economies, and healthier lives. Building strong families. Building Kentucky. It starts with us. Kenton County Cooperative Extension. Hi, welcome to the Jewels of Health. I'm Kathy Burns with the Kenton County Cooperative Extension Service. And this is a series of programs we're doing on different vegetables and how good they are for us. We know that, but uh, we call them, we're calling them our jewels because they're multicolor. And as we know, different colors give us different nutrients and of course, great source of health. So as you can see, today we're talking about artichokes. I think artichokes are a little bit intimidating to a lot of people because they're not something maybe that we prepare that often. They, they are a little work uh, intense, but it's a great reward. So there are a lot of great um, videos out there from the California Artichoke Association, and they will show you how to prepare them in various ways, um, microwaving, boiling, steaming, pressure, you can cook artichokes lots of different ways. So today I thought I would just go over with you various ways that you can purchase them in the store because I think it can be a little bit confusing uh, and depending on what you're going to do with them is what you might want to purchase. Remember artichokes are a good source of fiber, good source of vitamin C, low calorie, and they have one of the highest antioxidant scores than any other vegetable. So that's an added bonus to us all. So as you can see in front of us, we have some fresh ones. I have a bag of frozen artichoke hearts and then various jarred and canned products. Uh, you can get them in water. You can get them in brine. You can get them marinated. We'll talk about those in a few minutes, but it can be a little bit overwhelming. I have some here that I cooked up so you can see the nice color we get. We get this nice olive green color to them. Um, and then we will see what's inside. So first of all, we're going to talk about buying your artichoke. When you go to the grocery store, you will more than likely find this type of artichoke. It's called a globe artichoke, and it's the one that's most common. This is, would be considered a large one. They come in, gen, in three general sizes, small or baby. We've probably seen the baby artichokes, a medium and a large. Uh, this one's a large, it weighs about a pound, so a large artichoke. Um, when you get it, you want it to be nice and green like this. There might be a little bit of frost, brown spots sometimes on them, but that's okay. They'll cook up green. They say they should squeak when you buy them. And that means that there's still moisture in there. And that's what we want. We want them to have moisture in them so that we know that they're fresh. The artichokes have these petals or leaves, people call them. They are kind of thorny. So a lot of people will clip them off before they cook them, they call that kind of restaurant style. Uh, it's, it's nice, you can do that or you don't have to because once you cook them, they get softened, that's up to you. They usually come on a nice big stem. Some people will completely cut the stem off, some people will leave part, but I wanna show you really quickly here. The stem is actually a little bit of an extension of the heart, so, you can see it's got this dark green hard part on the stem. You would want to trim or cut that away. But if you can see that little whitish area in there, that is just an extension of the heart. The heart is located right above that stem. Uh, we'll look at that in a few minutes, but um, that's a nice uh, treat to eat too. So what you can do, if you want to cut them off, you can go ahead and cut them off, but cook this along with the artichoke itself so you get the benefit of it. So now we're gonna take our artichoke and just look at basic preparation techniques on them. Uh, you're always gonna cut part of the top part of the artichoke off because this is really doesn't have anything edible to it. So you need a very sharp knife. They are difficult to cut. Um, I've got my cutting board here and I'm just gonna kind of do a slicing motion. You'll read, sometimes it'll say cut an inch off, sometimes it'll say cut two inches off, 
This depends, but as you can see, we still haven't reached the middle of our arc shift, but that's okay. Now, this again will oxidize very quickly and start turning dark. So people will either have um, maybe a bowl of lemon juice or they'll just take a cut lemon and apply it to it right away just to help the discoloration. Again, on the stem, we definitely want to trim it. This is already darkening from where I cut the end off before. So if I was going to just leave it like that, I would just put some lemon juice on there or I can cut that off and prepare it. People like to cut them off because then they sit, right? Um, and depending on what you're gonna do with your artichoke, if you're just going to eat it as a dip, it, it sits nicely and then you can pull those leaves off. So here are a couple artichokes that I cut up ahead of, ahead of time. Uh, this one obviously has the stem still on it. Uh, this one does not. I did steam some and I boiled some, just kind of the traditional ways to do them. And this is what I end up with. You know, they're done when those leaves pull out. Because if you like to just eat these with a dip, that's the part you're gonna do then. That means it's ready to go. The other test is to just take a, a small paring knife and just make sure it goes through easily. And you can also tell they're done that way. So I've taken a couple of these artichokes and cut them in half. So you can see what we've got. Now, these have been cooked a few hours earlier, so they may not be as pretty as they were, but I just wanted to show you what you've got here. So again, here's our stem. You can see the extension of the heart there. These, of course, are all our leaves. So if I was going to just uh, prepare this for the heart, really didn't care about those leaves as far as eating, I would just pull all those off. You can see they're much easier to handle when they're uh, cooked than when they're raw. And then you still have these, these are still leaves on the inside. Those get pulled off as well. Then you have this little fuzzy area and this is called the choke. And that is not edible. Uh, so that gets to come away. So you probably need to trim that away. So you can see there's a lot to do to get to this part. <laughs> And this guy has darkened a little bit because we've already cut him, but you can get the general idea of seeing. Here is our artichoke heart. So this is what we're going to add after. We're going to peel away any of these leaves. Um, I don't want this stem, but I do want the inner part because that does taste like the artichoke. So I can keep some of that if I can get at it. <laughs> But then here is our heart that we're going to do with it, whatever with it. Um, you can see there is a lot of waste with artichoke. Again, you might want to eat those, those, those leaves. They're quite tasty in a variety of dips. Some people just dip them in butter, but this is what we've got. This is the heart. So they say only about 30% of the artichoke is edible. Up to you what you do with it. So there are many ways to buy artichokes on the, at, the, at our supermarkets. Uh, again, our fresh one is nice. If you're preparing these at home, what you want to do, rinse them with cold running water. Uh, I would take a soft brush if you had one, and you can use that to scrub the outside. Of course, you want to get in here and try to get the water in there as well. But just be sure then after you're done washing them that you will drain them upside down because they're going to be full of water. So after they're washed with only water, just let them sit a few minutes as they drain out. So not a lot of work, but it is awfully easy to open up a package sometimes too. So here we have a variety of our artichokes. I'm going to start with the frozen ones. So these are artichoke hearts that are frozen and ready to go. When you open them up, this is what you're going to find lots of pieces. Um, they, these are thawed, but they feel very much like the canned ones do. They're softened. Uh, they've been cooked, obviously, and they're ready to go. So that's a nice way. Uh, this bag is about 10 or 12 ounces, so depending on how much you want, it might, might be very convenient for you to just get out a smaller amount. Or if you just want a little bit to put in a marinated salad or um, pasta dish or something else, this might be a way to go for you canned is also available. So there are some that are in glass jars. That's kind of nice. 
you can see them. You can see, for example, this one is in pieces, and it will tell you that on the label, where this one is full of whole baby artichoke hearts. Pretty tasty. Look at your labels because usually they're uh, packed in brine. Um, one of these is packed in water, but it does still have sodium in it. So be sure to check your labels. You can also get marinated artichoke hearts. They're really tasty. So this particular one has some spices in it. They have some kind of oils in them, usually olive oil or a combination of oils in them and salt, of course. So they're ready to go. Uh, I know people that just like to pop these out of the jar and eat them. Um, so that's pretty tasty too. Uh, the rest of these are just marinated uh, in a brine solution. So um, I use the, mar the word marinate. I should use it for this one, marinated with a, um, olive oils and spices where these are just packed in brine or water. Um, so these are from the same company and I just wanted to show you the difference because I think it can be confusing when you go to the store and they have these numbers on them and you don't know what it means. So this one says quartered. So again, you can see our artichoke heart and it has been quartered. So that's a larger artichoke, but it's quartered, it's fine, it's ready to go. Uh, there really isn't any taste difference in the small versus the large. It's just um, the variety out there. It's interesting if you read about uh, artichokes and how they grow, a small, baby, medium, large, they all grow on the same plant. They just grow in different parts of the plant. Uh, so this one is, uh, it says artichoke hearts five to seven pieces. And so they are whole hearts. They're a little bit larger. And there are, in this particular can, five pieces in here, but what they need to get the weight. Right next to them is the same size, the same weight can. Um, this one says eight to ten pieces on it, and as you can see, much smaller artichokes. So these would be baby artichokes. The baby artichokes have more edible area to them than the larger ones do. But that's why uh, they come in different, different size cans. Just depends on what you're gonna do with them. If you're just making a dip or something like that, any of these would work for you. But if you were needing a nice look for a particular dish, then you could get these ones five to seven pieces larger, obviously, eight to 10 smaller. So just depends on what you're gonna do with them. You have lots of options. You can take that fresh one and cook it yourself. That's a real treat to pull out those leaves and enjoy those. A lot of us like to do that or work and get to the heart, it's right there. The last thing I wanna mention is cooking them. There is some information out, out there about not cooking in aluminum pots. Uh, the California Artichoke Association says that's not as big of a problem right now, but if that's a concern for you, the issue is um, maybe discoloration of the artichokes a little bit more, and some folks feel like they get a flavor issue off of it, so it's up to you. Um, what I've done, I have right here just a cast iron pot, my Dutch oven, just a coated cast iron, and that's what I used to cook those artichokes. If you've got a stainless pot, you can as well. So it's not, not a big issue, but for some people it's a concern. So if that is for you, cook in cast iron, cook in uh, stainless, cook in glass, if you got it, any of those will work. You can, again, microwave them, so you can microwave them in glass, they'd be fine. So lots of options out there, lot of ways these artichokes are ready to go or have fun with. Uh, I find this kind, of, this kind of fun at a party. I've, I've been where people cook them like that, so it's kind of entertainment value of cooking the whole artichoke. But whatever you do, try them. They're really good, they're good for you. And the California Artichoke Association will provide you with information on videos on different ways to cook them and lots and lots of recipes if you're looking for some. So enjoy your artichokes. Get out in this new world if you haven't enjoyed them yet. If it's been a while, give it a try again. Thanks.